Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm from Germany, and I have an interesting time since 2014. When I was small, I thought my father had a normal job. He's a scientist. He went to work early in the morning and came back late. I knew that other people liked his work because he was often traveling abroad attending conferences. When somebody asked me about my father's job, I always said, he's a physicist and looks through microscopes all day long. But the most exciting thing happened on October 8, 2014. On this day, I was in school and I told another child that my father had won some months before the Carfley Prize, a prestigious award given by the King of Norway because he is a really good scientist. The child responded saying that if my father were a really good scientist, he would have won the Nobel Prize. Oddly enough, in the last class of that day, my teacher came up to me and said that was just announced that my father had won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> I looked at the other child and said, boom, Nobel Prize, mic drop. <laughs> Things started getting different and complicated from this point out for me and my siblings. Knowing that we would have to attend many ceremonies celebrating my father's achievement, my parents hired a woman to teach us etiquette because they were worried we might slurp our soup in front of the geniuses of the world. <laughs> Where to eat with her? And she told us how to greet people probably. She said that you always have to smile and speak clearly if you greet somebody. We also ate soup with her, being told how to hold the spoon probably. I didn't understand why I have to learn this because I already knew how to eat soup. This day was one of the most boring days in my life. <laughs> but the payoff was at any banquet, my siblings and me survived without standing our tucks and tails. My father's name is Stefan Hall, and he won his Nobel Prize in 2014 for his work in microscopy. Because my father won this prize, many things changed for me in my life as well. A whole family often gets invited to really interesting places where my father gives talks. For example, we went to the famous Pompeii, a city in Italy which was destroyed by a volcano. I always get to know famous and interesting people who are very inspiring. My city in Germany is number two on the list of the cities with the most Nobel laureates in history. There must be something in the water. <laughs> But the Nobel Prize can overshadow your, life, overshadow your life too. Some people only want to be friends with me just to meet my dad or because they think it's cool to tell others they know the son of a Nobel Prize winner. And my teachers in chemistry and physics expect more from me because I'm my father's son. Ex um, good for me that I actually enjoy physics and chemistry a lot. <laughs> but in general, I sometimes have the impression that my teachers grade me harder than my classmates and expect more from me. When we had a test on optics coming up, I could not sleep the night before because I felt very obliged to be the best in class in my father's field. I'm sure this is a common problem of children of celebrities. I can only assume how hard it might be to be a child of a US president. Of a US president. Barton Trump, for example, will not be able to voice his own opinions without being put in contact with his father's actions. Sasha and Melia Obama will always be watched very closely by the press. This reduces their freedom to develop independently of their parents' actions significantly. But my father's opportunities of me come my opportunities. Physics is always present in our family, and I often visit my father at work. On my seventh birthday, I got a microscope and spent many days looking on structures of soil and plants in detail. One day, he showed me how his microscope works. It's so exciting. On another day, my father brought, brought a drone and let, he let me fly it too. However, by mistake, I flew the drone into a tree and an expensive drone was destroyed. <laughs> but he was so cool about it, he just bought a new drone and let me fly it again and had much more fun. 
In my experience, you can run the risk of living in your father's shadow, especially when he's famous. But for me, he does not create such a shadow to live in, but a place of light and illumination where he shares his achievements and opportunities with me and his faith in me so that I can learn and be inspired by them to set my own path for the future. Thank you.